Both Inverness and Rangers are absolutely petrified that they think there's going to be an influx of Celtic supporters in the home end. And the Rangers fans think there's going to be an influx and it's been suggested that people are actually buying tickets. Could you imagine that this weekend there'll be a hun on hun fighting saying, what's your what's your code for your phone, mate? <laughs> uh, 1690. Uh, what's King Billy's horse called? Can't remember. You're not going yourself, Big Mags. And uh, Caledonia Thistle, Inverness Caledonia and Thistle have given out their prices £45 for the South Stand and 65s and under 16s get out £25. And there's also concessions available at 20. It's been suggested that Celtic fans might also buy up those tickets. Also, such is the demand from Celtic for tickets for, well, for the cup final and the fact that um, people want to go undercover this weekend. That would be hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. There'll be lots of empty seats because they basically, they have nothing to play for and that's it, it's game over. So anyway, moving on, there's been speculation that Lil Abada may move on this summer, but he has spoken. Lil Abada has spoken, he said he's really happy. Now, when a player comes out and he says he's really happy at a club, you know that his time's coming to an end. Anyway, he has vowed to ignore the speculation for the transfer and focus on the domestic treble. 20-year-old winger who signed from um, Maccabi in 2021 is not also he's not always been a regular starter under Ange Postacoglu, but he has been really effective in his time. You've got Jota, you've got Dyson Maida in the preferred positions, and the likes of Southampton, Ajax, and Benfica it's been suggested, it's been sniffing about him. He is contracted at Celtic until 2026. He's been play, he's played enough to be nominated for the player, uh, Professional Football Association's Young Player of the Year Award for the second season in a row. He's obviously won two in a row with Celtic and he's won a couple of cups. And he is going to be in the squad, obviously, for the Scottish Cup final. Abada went on to say, I don't care about what the newspapers or media say. I just care about how to improve every day, how to get better for the team and how to give 100%. Lil Abada went on to say, I'm focused on getting the three trophies. That is the most important thing now. I am really happy at Celtic. Everyone looks after me and tries to help me get better. My relationship with the players and staff is very good. So I'm really happy here. There's no rush. I have time. Right now we need to focus on finishing the season strong. That is the most important thing, says Lil Bada. He also went on to say, when you play at a club like Celtic, there are a lot of great players, you have a lot of competition. But I am still young and I want to work hard every day in training sessions and every game help the team get to our targets. It is the coach's decision when the gaffer tells me that I need to play. I will do my best for the team and I will try and get to our target, which is the most important thing. Abada and O'Reilly are listed the nominees for the Young Players Player of the Year. It's really interesting that he spoke about the team and he spoke about the management staff, but then actually he says it's up to the manager. So has the... I'm not in fact, I'm not even going to have this conversation. He's come out and he said what he said. People can speculate all they want. Prices for the Scottish Cup have came out. And Leeds, oh, this is just one of the most, it's, it's always going to happen, getting closer to the end of the season, but Leeds have come out and said, the, the owner of Leeds have come out and said that, um, I think Celtic fans have a massive hero in Ange Postacoglu and what they've done for him. Everything he's done has done really well for the Australian, not just in the transfer window, but also in the state that Celtic are playing. They play now really well. It's exciting for the fans as well. Obviously, that success has brought watching eyes from the English Premier League. Leeds United, I've talked before, have shown interest in Poster Coglu and are monitoring his position. Aren't Leeds United about to go down? Um, there's absolutely no chance that Ange Poster Coglu will leave this summer and there's no chance that he'll go to Leeds. In other Celtic FC news, James McCarthy, it looks like his time is up at Celtic. He's obviously, James McCarthy, he's been man-missing all season. He's got a contract that takes him through to 2025. He was on a four-year deal. He's only made 27 appearances over the last two seasons with six starts uh, for Celtic. He's 32-year-old. He's had a bad, bad, bad time with it with hamstring issues with his time at Glasgow. Um, but uh, I just think he's a player that really needs to get moved on. McCarthy will be allowed to leave the club this summer. Celtic were also open to offers for him in January, but obviously he got injured. 
So similarly, the you've got Aaron Moy, you've got Callum McGregor, you've got Rio Hitati all in front of him, and you've even got Ben Summers that's come on. There's no chance that McCarthy's going to get a game, and he's just not got the pace. He's not got the pace, or he's no way he couldn't he couldn't lace their captain's boots, let's face it. So, yeah, it looks like he will definitely leave this summer. Speculation on transfers will ramp up. But that's the breaking news this evening. The breaking Celtic FC news this evening is that Leila Bada has come out and said that he's really happy at Celtic. Journalists have said that Leeds are looking to get our manager, James McCarthy, will be leaving Celtic. And Rangers and Inverness Cali are petrified that Celtic are going to try and infiltrate their sections of the last games of their season. On that note, have a great day, Celtic fans, and I'll see you tomorrow morning.